Boys and girls, meet Olivia. This is one of our chicks. And today I'm gonna read you a story about, not a chick, but bringing something strange to school. Can you imagine what it would be like if Amelia brought this chick to school? Mia, could you bring your chick to school? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, Mr. Mac, rescue me. Mr. Mac's gonna bring this chick okay. back. Okay. Bye, Olivia. I, I wanna do Bye, it. Olivia, okay. Okay, so we can't bring a chick to school, right? And in this book, it's called If You Take a Mouse to School. Do you think we could bring a mouse to school? I don't know about this. This is by Laura Numeroff. If you take a mouse to school. If you take a mouse to school, he'll ask for your lunchbox. When you give him your lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich and a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. Look at the mouse in the backpack, so cute. When you get to school, he will put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two. Hi Mia. He'll even try a science experiment. Do you do science experiments in school with Mrs. Barry? Then he'll need to wash up. You'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. What's that thing he's carrying, Mia? What's this? Um, a lunchbox. His lunchbox. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks. He'll build a little mouse house. Mia, what's a mouse house? Um, Does that rhyme? Mouse, mouse house? house. Oh, yes. Rhymes. Mouse house. Mouse and he'll house. make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. Look how cute he is. I love him. He'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. What does that word say? Cafeteria. Wait, mommy. Why is there that? everything is small because he's a little mouse eating his sandwich? Okay, don't block the kids. The kids want to see. Sorry, boys and girls. Mia got very excited about this book. He'll probably use up all your pencils. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Oh, look how eager he is to read that book. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it in a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer. Then I'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. Boys and girls, do you think a mouse can shoot some baskets? Me neither. That's how we have to use our imagination when we read this book. And do a little skateboarding. Look at the mouse on the skateboard. Oh my goodness. When he stops to catch his breath, He'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him back to school. The end. Boys and girls, did you have a wonderful, Jesus-filled, sunshiny, superstar day? Mrs. Mack didn't wear her star shirt, but I wore my shine shirt. Shine Jesus, shine. I hope you did. I hope you had a chance to read your Bible. I hope you had a chance to clean your room and get all your work done. Thank you for reading a book with me tonight. It's so good to see you. Have a great one. I'll see you tomorrow.